Hello guys, welcome to Upshit and More. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at something that's UI related. So Upshit has a new chat editor, okay? And that helps us create chats like this that you can create within normal Upsheet um, chats view, right? So over here, what you can see here is an area chat. To be able to create this area chat, you need to enable Upsheet's new chat editor, okay? But this is not entirely new, new because this chat editor has been in development since 2021. It's been four years. Next year is going to be five, right? So we're going to take a quick look at the kind of chats we have, what it allows us to do. And then we're going to look at um, why it's still in development in a sense of the kind of things that it's lacking and hopefully um, how you can actually put in feedback that's going to make them probably retake this project and complete it as soon as possible. Okay, so over right here, we have our area chat that is looking into the sales over a period of time. Now, these sales are categorized into low, high, and good, right? So you can see the legend over here. Okay, now these legends are clickable. So when I when I click on one low, it takes that one out, and then we just have a comparison between high and good, right? I can bring it back by clicking, and then so on and so forth, good. Now, over here, we have data. Now, this is actually normal with the old um, chat site. Okay, probably it didn't look like this. Right, but then it was an action button that was there that allows you to actually go into the raw data. Okay, good. So we have this over here. Good. Now, one thing I like about the new view, the new UI, is that it has some sort of you know this kind of animation when it flows in and out. It's, it's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so this is um the data point over here. And you have a two tip that shows you for each data point the date, the sales, and the category which is also very cool. You can click on that and drill in. Okay, okay. I have actually didn't set the drill in for this, so I'll show you how to set it and also I think I probably took that off. Okay, now over here at the bottom, something that's also new and very evident is the filter, right? Sounds like a slicer, a timeline slicer. Okay, so I can just reduce this and look at this period of time, right? I can look at from the beginning, maybe I want to look at the first five weeks. So I just come here reduce it to the very first five weeks to actually kind of make my point probably to the user. They can actually drill in and see what they are looking out for, right? So this is what you have with a new um, chat editor. I'm going to first show you how you can actually enable this new view. And then I'll also show you um, some of the things that are lacking, how to use it and probably some of the things that are lacking. Good. Okay. So let's go into our, um, our app. Good. So we are here in our app. This is actually an app that I created for a video showing how users can actually determine the colors of their own color not chat. So if you're interested, I'll just leave the link so you can actually view this. Okay. So over here we have our um our app. Okay. We have only a calendar chat. Good. Now if we try to create our um what's the word? Our chats. Come here. I'm going to create a new chat over here. Okay, I'm going to call this um, charts. Okay, and I'm going to come here to charts. Okay, now this is the old version. Okay, so we have the chat types over here. Like, I never really liked the old version of how she chats, right? It's just not, it's just not, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. So we have the historical, the histogram, we have the horizontal histogram, that's a bar and a column. We have pie charts, donor charts, column lines stacked and then scattered right good let me close this okay so then we have aggregate so let's say if i choose histogram right i want to aggregate sales okay custom columns um maybe category like this so good high and low something like this Right, and I have the option to change the color. So I can change it to red, I can change it to green, right? I don't know, for this particular chat type, I just didn't like it. It just didn't work for me, okay? Uh, we have trend line. You can set the different types of trend line. I honestly even didn't understand how this works properly. And then we have the legend. So legend over here, which is basically this, when you take this off, right? It doesn't it doesn't show you what the, the color represents in any way. Okay, good. So this is the old way this is done. Good. Now, if you want to activate the new way when you come to views, okay, you come here to settings, come to general, you're just going to click preview new features. Then click save. 
So now this is going to allow you to use some of the features that have not actually been enrolled, okay, or rolled out to the general public. So you come to view, when we come to charts, you're going to have this option. It says, use a preview of the new chat editor before it comes out. This may make the app unstable. A very important warning. So we're going to click here, go to. And then all of a sudden, you get access to the new chat editor. Now, at the get-go, I like what they are thinking. I like where their mind is. Um, it's much more easy to understand how to use this, okay? So over here, you have your fields, you have your date, you have sales, category, color schema, and then account, okay? And over here, you have some actions that can be done, good. Now here, you can select a chat type, okay? So if I select, let's say, bar, okay? Now we have major and minor. This is one of the issues I had with this um, chat editor. What does major stand for? What does minor stand for? No one knows, right? So. I'm going to drag um, category into major, and I have this. So when you drag category into major, you have count of category in minor. I don't know why. Let's see what happens if I drop category into minor. I have a unique count. So it looks like minor is the X as X. Now if I draw sales into major, let's see what happens. Nothing happens. Let me draw sales here. Okay, so I draw so over here. I have sales in, in also in minor, All right? Who knows what's going on? Let me put category here under major. Good. So now I have category in major. I have a unique count of or a unique set of category in uh, minor and in sales. Okay, and so that's one of the big problems I have with this. It doesn't really. Add up, but it doesn't make sense. Okay, so I take that out. So we have category and sales. Good. Now we have also a color field. Now, when you put something in a color field, what happens is that each item in that color field has a different color. This is something we really lacked with the old version of our sheet. And um, now the old chart view, you couldn't really set colors for different components. So if I draw category in color, you see what happens. So now each bar has a different color. Problem is you cannot determine the color for each bar. Okay, so just like how in the calendar view, we couldn't determine the color, but then we created our own color. Okay, it sets colors in there and worked. This side, it doesn't work, right? So if you remember, I had a column color schema where I basically set what the color for each particular category will be. So I'm going to drag this here. Doesn't work. Because if you remember, if we go back, to color schema, I had a formula that says switch categories. Hi, give me purple is good. Give me orange if it's black. If it's good, give me orange. Other than that, give me black, right? Something like that. But then, and this worked very well with calendar. So just for those who probably haven't seen this um, showing preview, you see over here, right? We have low being black, high being orange, and then what? Good being orange, high beam purple, I mean, good. that works. But then in the chart view, when we try and put this same field in here, where is it? In here, it doesn't work. You get it? So that's also one thing that was lacking. But there are a lot of things you can do over here. So over here, you have this icon. What this icon allows you to do is to swap the X and the Y axis. So if I click on this, I have a bar, I have a bar chart. If I click, I have column charts. Okay, I think it's very good. It's very, it's very good. Now this over here represents your data icon. You get it. So when I click on this, I disable it. It doesn't show. I don't probably want users to click it and go into the data. I just want them to focus on the charts. Yeah. Now this is what I was talking about, the drill through. Okay, now when I click on this, I disable it. What it means that when I click here, nothing happens. You get it? But then I can enable it when the user clicks on this, the user goes to, um goes drills into it. The problem is now when a user clicks on it, instead of it taking it to a table, listing out all the high, um, all the records that relate to high, it just takes it to one detail view. Is that okay? So that's also something that they need to work on. That's something they're working on at the moment. Good. When you come here, we show preview, good. We have this. So hide the data zoom filter. So this is what we call a data zoom filter. So you can zoom in and look at certain aspects of your data. You get it. But you can hide this and say, you know what? I don't want the user to zoom in. 
just let them focus on what's over there. Good. Then now this, okay, is whether you want to stack them or you want them to be three independent bars. So if I click this, okay, so at the moment, I do not have um, the option to stack. Let me see if I can bring in some other information that will allow me to stack. Um, okay, let me bring dates. So I'm going to take category out. Let me bring dates. Okay, so now another fantastic thing about this um type this new editor, right? Is that if you bring in dates, okay, it groups your dates into year, into quarters, into month, into week, into day, so on. If you month name, okay, quarter number, week number, I, I like it. I like it a lot. So if I do month name, okay, so we have it like this. You get it. If I do just month, we have this. You get it. So we have January, June 2025, August 2025, September 2025, and October 2025. Now, this feature, okay, is normally only available for the bar. So when you click on this, I can stack them. Isn't that cool? Very cool. I like it a lot. Okay, and I'll stack them. All right, good. So that's also another feature I really like, right? And then the grouping, obviously, of the dates is, is very good. It's very helpful. So you can group it. I think it will be very cool if the users can also choose whether they want to see month, week, you know, in the data set. That would be, that would be very innovative. That would be very good. All right, good. And then we have the KPI options. Now, for the life of me, I've been looking at, I've been playing around with this. I don't know what it does. I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I have no idea what it does. When I click... Probably some of you know, you can drop it in the comment section. I have zero idea. When I click check it, I won't check it. It, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything for me. So I, I don't know, I, I left it. Okay, and then when you come to custom, okay, you can choose what you want to show the title of the chat, or you can take it off, show the legend, you know, you can take it off. And you can also determine the position of the legend. You got it, good. Now there are different types of chats, okay? So I can look at the line charts. Right, I can look at area charts. Good. Now, depending on your data, it will determine the kind of charts you can choose. Is that okay? if I reset it and I come here, there are lots more charts I can choose. See, pi, do not, but depending on your data and the things you feel in the major and the minor, it will determine what you can actually do. Now, if you don't like it and you want to go back, right, you can click on use legacy chart and you are back to this old boring one. If you want to come back, you click here and you come back. Okay, now this over here is something that will help the community a lot. So if you have any ideas about how they can improve or any feedback you can provide, just click on this, okay? Then you can actually go here and then you can input information about your feedback on how the chat is working, right? So you can go through here, enter information about how you feel about the chat, and then maybe they'll actually go ahead and complete this for once because it's been four years and we've not had anything, right? So there's been a lot of discussion about this. I think it's really great. It'll be really useful because, hey, this is a data-driven application, okay? This are data-driven application. And one thing that distinguishes data-driven applications are visuals, right? Visual charts that help us to communicate the data we've actually analyzed. So it's important App Sheet improves its visuals and this chart so that we can actually present the data or the analysis and the information we've gathered with app sheets better, right? So guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm excited about the future, but then things have to be get done as quickly as possible. So thank you and see you in the next video. Bye guys.